origin and distribution of cluster bean. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the origin and distribution of cluster bean, explain the soil and climatic requirements for cluster bean cultivation, enumerate the economic importance of cluster bean, vanilla, blueberry, chocolate, mango. Hmm, mouth watering, isn't it? Everyone loves to eat ice cream irrespective of their age. Yeah, ice creams are best enjoyed in their right texture. Do you know the hidden secret that keeps the ice cream in its creamy texture? Any guesses? Well, this is it. A powder called gar gum is added during the preparation process that reduces the crystal formation and stabilizes the ice cream in soft, creamy, yet frozen form. Gorgum not only finds its application in ice cream industry, but is also widely used in several industries such as paper, food, textile, mining and oil drilling, pharmaceuticals and lot more. In paper industry, gorgum is used for increasing the density of paper. In textile industry, gorgum offers outstanding film forming and thickening properties during fabric sizing, finishing and printing. In pharmaceutical industry, gargum is used as a gelling agent for making capsules. In bakery and confectionery, gargum retains the moisture content of the dough and keeps it soft. In oil and drilling industry, the gar powder is used for fracturing the rocks inside the earth's crust. Wondering what is this gargum and from where it is obtained? Here is the answer. Gargum is obtained from the seeds of cluster beans. Shocking, isn't it? Do you know cluster bean? Otherwise known as gar, is an important commercial crop listed on the National Commodity and Derivatives Exchange Limited, that is NCDEX. Not just this. There are several other economic benefits of cluster bean which are sure to surprise you. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the origin and distribution of cluster bean, followed by its economic importance. Origin and distribution of cluster bean The real origin of cluster bean is still under debate. However, it is believed that cluster bean originated from the dry regions of West Africa or the deserts of Middle East. At first, the Arab people domesticated gur for feeding their horses. After the emergence of silk trade route, trade began to flourish in the Middle East, which paved way for the traders to introduce the gar pods to the countries they travelled. This is how cluster bean was introduced in India. Later during 1903, the gar was introduced in USA from India. Slowly it started spreading to Burma, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Pakistan. At present, it is being cultivated in Brazil and some African countries like South Africa, Malawi, Zaire and Sudan. Subsequently, the economic importance of cluster bean initiated its cultivation in China and Thailand too. On the whole, the global production of cluster bean is estimated to be 3 million metric tons, out of which India contributes 75-80% to 80 of world's cluster bean production followed by Pakistan, sharing 10 to 15 percent of world's total produce. India is the world's largest producer with an annual production of 2.5 to 3.5 million tons. Nearly 70 percentage of India's production is being exported to USA and Europe. In India, gar cultivation is carried out in the states of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Comparatively, nearly 70% of India's overall production is obtained from Rajasthan, which makes this state the largest producer in India. Two commonly cultivated types in India are the giant and dwarf varieties. The giant type is chiefly grown in Gujarat, while the dwarf type is grown in other cultivable regions of India. Let us proceed with the botanical description of cluster beans. The scientific name of cluster bean is Cymopsis tetragonaloba l. Taub. 
cluster bean is an annual erect plant growing to a height of 3 meters. The plant has angled stem with trifoliate leaves. The flowers are pink or white in color placed at the auxiliary rhizome, which is 10 cm long. Fertilization occurs through self-pollination and the developed pods are linear, erect and compressed. As the name implies, the fruits are produced in clusters with each pod measuring 4 to 10 cm in length. Each pod contains 5 to 12 white to grayish black colored seeds inside it. Moving on, let us learn about the soil and climatic requirements that favor the growth of cluster bean crop. Cluster bean is a warm season crop that can be grown in both summer and rainy seasons. Generally, it can be cultivated in any type of soil. But the most suitable one is the well-drained sandy loam soil. The plants are capable of tolerating a pH of 7.5 to 8.0. The plants are drought resistant and can grow in climates receiving 30 to 40 cm rainfall per annum. Generally, a temperature range of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius is considered favorable for the growth of gar. Long days are preferred during vegetative growth while the flowering stage demands short days. Cluster bean can grow in arid regions and cannot withstand waterlogged conditions. As early crops, they are grown in the month of February and March. As main crops, they are sown between the months of June and July. However, in some places, the seeds are sown even during the months between September and October. Before concluding, let us know about the economic and general benefits of cluster bean. Gar gum and its derivatives contribute around 242 billion rupees to the Indian economy. Cluster bean is rich in nutrients and 100 grams of gar contain 10.8 grams of carbohydrate, 3.2 grams of protein, 1.4 grams of minerals and 47 milligram of vitamin C. Hence, it is being consumed as vegetable by majority of the population. Nearly 25,000 tons of India's total production constitutes to the domestic market. In many places, cultivation is carried out for using the pods as cattle feed as well as for using them as green manuring. Gaur is also cultivated as medicinal crop as it is rich in phosphorus and calcium which helps in strengthening the bones as well as teeth. Moreover, it contains high dietary fiber, which helps in reducing the body cholesterol. It serves as the best source of folic acid. Hence, it is good for pregnant women. Owing to its hypolipidemic and hypoglycemic qualities, cluster bean serves as one of the good foods for diabetic patients. Thus, cultivation of cluster bean is highly beneficial to the farmers for its wide range of industrial applications. Summary let us do a recap of what we have learned so far. Cluster bean is warm season crop, suitable to be grown in both summer and rainy seasons. Well-drained sandy loam soil is best suited for cultivating cluster beans. Gore crops are drought resistant and they cannot be grown in waterlogged conditions.